Hello, my name is uh, Tony Ortiz, and this is my midterm perception project presentation. So what I chose to perceive is, um, or really focus on for my uh, project, is um, abortions. I wanted to, you know, just dive into it and um, get into, like, why, um, like, people who are opposed abortions, like, their mindsets, you know, why the way they thought and um just really like get understanding so that's why i decided to do this and um it was pretty interesting so information on those against abortions um so when i was looking up this before doing the interviews um it was pretty interesting because i knew like people thought of it like as like you know bad or like you know something that frowned upon but um like people really see it as murder and uh, they also see it like you're wasting the taxpayers dollars to kill some like to kill a baby and people are like why like what's like you can and then you can literally give them adoption or stuff like that so those are just some things that i read and was like found out but just for me um my beliefs and opinions on it i just feel like that's like like there's so much that goes into it like what if the mom or the parents just um like on drugs and stuff and like the baby's not gonna come out right or you know they know that there's not a mindset enough to keep it and why put them through the foster care you know, put them through all that. And then, you know, um, I just feel like my personal opinion, like, it's, if it's, like, it's, it's not your body, so why, sh it, like, if it's not your body, it's not your decision, basically. Like, like, why should the government be choosing what you do with your body? Like, if you feel... Like, you just can't do it right now. Or you just don't want to. Like, you have so much planned for your life. Like, you know, it's an option. But what I'm at is, like, people should do it during the first trimester because that's normally when the fetus is not attached. Like, it's not a separate, en like, entity. So, um, people should just, like, know... Like, just do your information about it. Uh, do your background uh, research on stuff like on this if you are considering it. That's what my thing is. But other than that, like, you should, like, you know, if you ultimately feel like it, you know, who's to say, you know, you can't. And then I was I found a quote on um, Google, and then it said, being pro-choice doesn't mean that you'd have an abortion. It just means you think the choice is yours, not the government, which is something, you know, that I agree with, you know. It's not that I would, like, want to have an abortion, but we should have the right to choose because, you know, it's our right. That's why, you know, I feel so strongly about this. And, you know, if, um, you know, a girl wants to and her and her husband or whoever, you know, both decide it's not the best time or even if it's her and, you know, she has a pregnancy because of whatever reasons or unfortunate things like rape or something then it should be you know she should have the ability to have an abortion because you know it should be her right and nobody has the right you know to tell her not to so that's just my stance on it so what i learned after the interviews um after doing the interviews i learned People are passionate about this topic and like asking the questions and just like trying to listen to stuff like because I asked five people and three girls, two guys, all passionate and all leaning towards whatever, you know, they're, how they felt. They're just so passionate about stuff and like they all had like going into it, they just all have like this one mindset. And then even asking the questions, like, they were just stuck on the mindset. 
not that like I was trying to change it, but just like listening to them and just trying to, you know, just talk, like hear them out. You know, the people that were pro-life that, that I was um, interviewing. Um, it was just, I thought it was just fascinating to hear them talk about um, why, how they felt, like everything. And then them going into depth about it. It just, it was really, um, it was just really good for, you know, me to do and for me to listen to them. And then, um, like, they all felt like if things turn out, um, so one of the quotes I was reading, one of the quotes that I best, that I felt like best summed up everything was like, um, it was on Google, it was like, from what they were saying, they were like, things turn out best for people who make the best out of the way they turn, out of the way things turn out, which is, like, they were saying, some of them were saying, like, you know, they have, they're in this unfortunate thing, situation, but they should always try to make the best out of it, and to keep going through this, and, you know, try to make the best out of this pregnancy, even if they don't want to, but for the baby. So, that's why I chose that, and I was just, you know, it was just uh, good to, it was just good to ask the questions and to ask, to do the interviews. And then, how did the experience change my perception? So, going into it, I had a fixed mindset of the, um, like, just always having the pro-choice and stuff, and I'm still on that side, but I just feel like I have a better understanding of why they feel the way they do and I just like I just think it was good to actually like listen to both sides and to just get the other perspective of it so yeah um yeah it was just really it was a good project for me to do and I'm glad I did it so yeah